Today we are going to discuss an illustrative problem on economic order quantity. Okay, another example of a problem in EOQ. Okay, class. This is our problem. The hot dog car chain business of the La Cruz family is determining how many bottles of one gallon oil to order. The annual usage is 300,000 bottles for all carts. The carrying cost is 30% of the purchase price of 10 per bottle. The ordering cost is 50 per order. The desired safety stock is 1,000 bottles and the delivery time is about 2 weeks. The company is using a 50 week per year and the orders can be placed only in multiples of 100 units. Okay, class, please take note of the details on the problem. Okay, so class here we will be asked to uh, compute the EOQ, compute the number of orders per year, compute the total ordering cost per year, compute the average inventory, compute the total carrying cost per year, and the total cost and reorder point okay so class let us analyze the problem okay so in analyzing the problem uh we have to know what is our formula for eoq so we can determine if the problem provides the information on all the uh, uh items in the formula so this is our formula in EOQ, 2 times uh, ordering cost times number of units over carrying cost. So let us now identify if we all have the information. Here we have our N. Based on this, the annual usage is 300,000 bottles for all cards. Okay, so we have 300,000 as our N, N okay? Here, the carrying cost is 30% of the per purchase price of 10 per bottle. So we can extract the carrying cost, which is 30% of 10, and that will be 3 pesos. Okay? The ordering cost is 50 per order, so it's a straightforward given. 50 per order. So now, with all of this given, we can now compute our EOQ. Okay? And for the reorder point, our formula is usage per day times lead time plus safety stop. Okay, so our U, and let us find our lead time and our safety stop. So let us look at the problem. Here, the desired safety stop is 1,000 bottles. So here you have 1,000 bottles. And the delivery time is about two weeks. So you have a lead time of two weeks. Okay? Take note, it is not expressed in days, but in weeks. Okay. And usage is, and orders can be placed only in multiples of 100 units. So here, class, your usage is missing. So, but we can extract or calculate the usage by determining how many bottles you need so you need 300,000 bottles, okay? So you need 300,000 bottles. And uh, since your lead time is in weeks, so we have to determine the usage in weeks, okay? So here we have to divide 300,000 by the given 50 week per year. The company is using 50 week, so divided by 50. So your usage per week is... 6,000 bottles per week, okay? So class, if your lead time is expressed in days, you have to uh, make sure that usage is also expressed in days. If your lead time is expressed in weeks, then you have to make sure that your lead time is expressed in weeks. Okay, now we have already uh, identified um, all uh, the given items. So we can proceed with our calculation. So here, class, uh, by the way, there is one thing, an important uh, given in the problem. 
orders can be placed only in multiples of 100 units. So the EOQ, if you are making an, an order, make sure that it is in multiple of 100 units. Okay? So let us now proceed. So EOQ, okay, uh, replacing the variables. So 2 is constant. Uh, 50 is our ordering cost and 300,000 is our demand, okay? Our annual usage and 3 is our carrying cost. So doing the mathematical calculation, we will get 3,163 units. And since the, the problem provides that we have to order, we cannot order if it is not in multiple of 100. So this uh, 3,163 units, okay, to be, to make sure you have to round it up to the higher uh, multiple of 100. And in this case, this will be 3,200 units. Why not 3,100? Well, following the rounding of policy, but even though it's not, it is just 3,140 units, then you still have to round it off to 3,200 units because you have to follow the, you have to make sure that uh, you still have sufficient stocks on a certain period of time. So it is best to round it up, okay? And now you can compute the number of orders per year because you already have the EOQ. So to compute that, your formula is N, which is 300,000, divided by the EOQ, which is 3,200 units. So in this case, you will have 93.75. But the number of orders is the number of times you will place an order. So it's not; it should be expressed in whole number. So instead of 93.75, because it is not uh, really a, a sound, if it is in fraction. So it means that you will order 94 times, okay? So uh, the number of orders, you always have to round it up. Round it up, okay? Not off, round it up higher. So next is total ordering cost per year. So our formula is number of order times ordering cost, and the number of orders is 94 times the ordering cost of 50, so we will have 4,700. And the next thing that is required is compute the average inventory, and our formula for average inventory is EOQ divided by 2, and our EOQ as computed is 3,200 divided by 2, so you will have 1,600 units. Okay, and class, the next is compute the total carrying cost per year. And total carrying cost, the formula is average inventory times carrying cost. And the calculated average inventory is 1,600 units times carrying cost of 3. So you will have 4,800. Okay, and the total cost is total ordering cost plus total carrying cost. Okay, class, so with this, we just have to add the calculated ordering, total ordering cost and total carrying cost. So you will have 9,500 uh, total cost. Okay, class, and our reorder point. Okay, this is our formula, usage times lead time plus safety stock. And our usage, as we have uh, calculated, is 6,000 units times 2 weeks. Okay, plus 1,000, so it will give you a 13,000 units for us, our reorder point. Okay, class? So, uh, this is uh, an illustration of a certain problem. So, if you have questions, please let me know. Okay, stay safe, class, and have a blessed day. Bye for now.